all animals. This show wasn't for the dogs. Chaos erupted at a performance of Cats on Broadway after a canine audience member got triggered by one particularly feisty feline. Humans dressed as cats who sing and dance for two hours may be a hit for most people, but man's best friend apparently doesn't like it. At one recent performance, a service dog got away from its owner and sprinted toward the stage during the opening number. Sorry, Andrew Lloyd Webber. The animal was particularly unhappy with the show's flirtatious female, Bomba Lorena, and caused a ruckus on stage when he began chasing after her. Fortunately, an usher managed to grab the dog before it caused any real trouble and returned it to its owner. But while the production company seemed to have laughed the encounter off, people online were genuinely pissed. Netizens think the service dog was fake, pointing out that a legit one wouldn't have acted that way. Then again, the pup could still be in training, and well, it probably failed. Keep watching to see more animals causing trouble. Gross photo shows why dogs should not eat chocolate. What we are about to show is really, really gross. So if you don't want to see what happens when a dog eats too much chocolate, click away now. This is Sophia, a boxer who made an animal hospital in Virginia look like a scene from The Exorcist after eating too much chocolate. Sophia's problem started last holiday season, when she and an unnamed canine partner in crime helped themselves to more than a kilo of chocolate left under the Christmas tree by owner Daisy Roja. Chocolate contains a stimulant called theobramine that is toxic to dogs. It can affect the heart, kidneys, and central nervous system. Dogs who eat too much chocolate can die. At best, they'll suffer symptoms including diarrhea, seizures, and vomiting. The darker the chocolate, the more theobramine it contains. Doses of around 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight are toxic to dogs. Sophia and the other dog were rushed to an animal hospital for treatment, suffering from vomiting and high heart rates. After chucking up another chocolate fountain, the dogs were fed activated charcoal to stop the toxins from being absorbed and given intravenous fluids. The animal hospital released the pooch puke photo on social media to warn owners not to feed their dogs chocolate this festive season. Sophia and her friends survived death by chocolate and made a full recovery from the incident. Does a bear crap in the woods? Uh, nope. A household in Wyoming got the shock of their lives after a bear wandered into their home and left a nasty little surprise. Max Brighter was having a nice Saturday afternoon nap when his dog suddenly started yapping from another room and wouldn't stop. He went to get the canine, but was instead greeted by a giant furry brown bear staring him down from the kitchen. Brighter locked himself in a nearby bathroom and frantically called everyone else in the house, who yelled and screamed as they barricaded themselves in their rooms. The noise made the bear feel uncomfortable, and it soon broke out of a window and scurried off, but not before depositing two giant turds on the living room floor. Hmm, lovely. The Wyoming Game and Fish Department say they're not going to go after old crappy, unless of course he turns out to be a serial home pooper. Leopard Gate Crashes Couples Himalayan Honeymoon A newlywed couple got the fright of their lives last week when an uninvited guest joined them in their honeymoon suite in India. The couple had a rude awakening in the early hours last Sunday when they were roused from their slumber by the sound of shattering glass. Shocked to see a leopard staring them down, the man and his wife hid under the covers and prayed. But the leopard was scared too and took shelter in the bathroom. Seizing his chance, the husband barricaded the bathroom door and called for help. According to reports, the leopard ran to the hotel because it was being chased by a pack of street dogs, which explains why he was happy to chill in the bathroom until the coast was clear. Wildlife officials later arrived with a cage and tranquilizer gun, ready to catch the leopard, but the wily cat escaped through the bathroom window. The hotel the couple was staying in is located in a resort town in the Himalayas. The manager said he had never seen anything like it, and thought at first that the couple must have seen a cat. Um, big cat, buddy. Aside from a little smashed glass and a messy bathroom, no real damage was done. The couple continued with their honeymoon, and as far as we know, the leopard returned to the jungle, where hopefully he can stay out of the way of street dogs. Moose falls into family home, then drops a deuce. A Haley, Idaho family has quite the amusing tale to tell after this lovely herbivore came crashing into their lives at the weekend. 
On Sunday, January 30th, the moose was reportedly walking along when it fell down a three-foot deep window well and into the family's basement. The family created a makeshift barrier with mattresses and a sofa to keep the animal contained. She reportedly remained calm throughout the ordeal, although she did crap a lot. The moose was there for about two hours until the cops arrived. They tried to lead her out, but she charged at them several times. So they wound up knocking her out with a tranquilizer and then took her outside, where she woke up a little confused, but free. Authorities suspect recent snow in the area pushed the moose, as well as other animals, closer to towns and homes. In Russia, animals have the right to bear arms. A wild bear turned the tables on a hunter after making off with not one, but two of the man's firearms. The 57-year-old had taken refuge at a remote cabin in Siberia's Irkutsk region and was out getting water when a brown bear snuck into his sanctuary. The animal seemed taken with some hunting rifles and latched onto them. When the man returned, he spotted the bear and quickly ran into the woods, where he hid for several hours. By the time he came back to the cabin, the bear was gone, but so were his Vepra carbine and IZH shotgun. For the next few days, the hunter searched the taiga for his guns, but failed miserably. He finally called the cops who are now investigating the bizarre incident. So far, they found bite marks on a plastic bucket and scratches on some logs at the cabin. No leads on the rifle-stealing bear, though, who's probably out somewhere having fun at getting to be the hunter instead of the hunted. Meanwhile, the actual hunter is facing a fine and could forfeit his right to buy and use guns for a year. All thanks to a gun-crazy bear.